What the freak? Um, I'm gonna do that? There's talking. Oh my god, look at this cave. This one's insane compared to the last one. I mean, I'm gonna go real slow. Look for the source of the strange sound. What? So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Dying Light the following. So I think I've finally got under control all the issues I've been having. Hopefully, because I have no idea still. So if you guys didn't see the ending of the last episode, I started having a ton of issues with this game, unfortunately, and I think I've got them under control. Think being the keyword right there, because really, I have no idea. Who really cares about the technical stuff? What I care about really is the storyline for this game, and here we go. Uh, extra dramatic intro inbound. In the last episode, we finally met Mother. Th that that's about it really, isn't it? Um... Yeah, that's it. We've been completing a load of quests for the following guys, and to be honest, we are slowly starting to be getting recognized, and it feels pretty damn good. Now, I did record for a bit, but unfortunately, the footage got corrupted as I expected it may, but I didn't do any of the quests. What I was actually practicing was hunting some of the bolters, and I actually believe the next one to be my fifth. So with crossbow in hand, oh, <clears throat> so with crossbow in hand, let's go ahead and do this, shall we? The beasts, they lurk everywhere around here. I can see one right now, nibbling on the insides of a dead. Freaking disgusting. Look at this freaking King Dingus, man. You know what? Hold on to my dad's foot. Did that kill it? Oh, yeah, let's go. To be honest, though, guys, a lot of things happened in the last episode which were fairly substantial. We finally did meet with Mother, and that is a serious thing, and really weird things were happening, man. Like, she was wafting us some of that vape stuff or something, and for some reason, the zombies didn't want to attack us anymore. So that was very, very interesting how that even worked. Crane had no idea as well. Another thing as well, guys, for this series, because I feel like we're making very, very quick progress in the following towards getting the ending. I kind of want this adventure to last a bit longer. So for this episode only, and we'll see how this goes, I'm gonna make a conscious effort for less cuts, all right? Because I wanna keep the continuity. So here we go, we was up here, now we're down there. Crap, I, I messed up, didn't I? We're back here again, hunting one more bolt at this dude eating the insides, and you know what? Hold another dart for me, there you freaking go! Maybe a little too excited, but I mean, some more bolt tissue goes a long way. And uh, speaking of bolt tissue, I think if I hand that back to some of the people where we initially started, we may get some good stuff again. Oh my God, uh, Hey, where the freak did you come from? Oh my god. All right, yeah, we need to definitely make track. I did not know that they just casually roamed the place around here. Yo, big guy, hold one of these down. That bounced off him, didn't it? Okay, so we're back at camp at the moment. If we speak to this guy over here, I think we give him the bolter tissue. I mean, let's go for it. Is it just here? Hey, my guy, I'm here to talk to you. Give me the F prompt. Uh, just here. Just here. Change the quest. Now we can go ahead and talk Zero, to him. Got you a bolter liver. I we got the hell are you doing? Get freak. away from me with that stink. There's a barrel behind the barn. Go put it there. <laughs> All right, man. Goodness, why didn't you tell me that before, you know? All right, let's go ahead and pop this thing in here. I think we got about 12 oh, livers. smell. Oh, God, so there's quite a few in there. Um, cool. Yo, did you see that? All right, I put the vault of liver in, in the... <clears throat> How's it okay, going? Okay, it's in the barrel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and please, if you get more, just leave them in the barrel. All right. That stink is just unbearable. So we've got like four right now. I got some good points. Whoa. All right. Well, that helped out substantially. So uh, should I go pop some more in there? If I leave, leave another bolt to liver? And it's going to keep boosting my rank up. Are you serious right now? That is pretty damn cool. So there may be another quest inside here as well. I'm going to check the billboard before we go and check out the plane. That thing crashed last time when we was talking to Mother. So hold up a sick the thread of the chase and two rows diverge let's start with this one here local farmer's collection of weapons it cost me my entire life so how much do you think it's worth lassie said berichialdis when she asked how much money he could possibly get for his collection of wild west guns some of the firearms date back to the 19th century and yet are still in almost perfect condition i don't care anyway because i ain't selling Ooh, okay so that it's quest right about there weapons collection we could get some good uh, weapons yes. bro it's something I've wanted to take care of for a while now. Mm, all right. There was this man, Adam, who lived in town. A bit eccentric, but everyone liked him. Especially when he got drunk. They liked him when he got drunk, well, you know? or like, He had a huge a collection of weapons, famous for it. Okay. And he was a good shot with his precious revolvers. But then, when he started getting older, he got paranoid that someone was going to steal them. I think he was right all this time later. He died. Oh, he's dead. Okay, it doesn't matter then. completely okay. empty. No oh, okay. weapons anywhere. Okay, but how does this saber fit into the picture? Ah, uh, Adam was crafty. Years ago, he got hold of my grandfather's saber, and nothing I could do would persuade him to give it back. Hmm. I just hope if he hid his other weapons, that saber is among them. Right. 
So, what, you want the other weapons to help defend, Bruh. or do you literally just want a saber? Come on, like, just see ya. Weapons are good for this place. This dude thinking about himself when all the people need these weapons. People, start saving the yellow root save it was bringing us, because there's no telling what's been going on with him lately. If anyone hears anything about him or sees him anywhere, please give me a sign as soon as you can, just see ya. Hey, so you know, just okay. Who's this Sabat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes, he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. Okay. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. Who's putting their money on this guy becoming the medicine for the bowlers? <laughs> I know he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. Resourceful. He wanted to become one of the faceless. He hmm. wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. Interesting. So from that one, we could probably yield a good bit of medicine and what we can just talk to Tell as well. Tell me about this Sabbat guy. Oh, Before this the is outbreak, a bit more about this Sabbat dude. Okay. He was a forest ranger. This is getting me interested Proud and now. Proud brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals and people. Yeah, I uh -huh. think another type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless. What are you trying to say about the faceless right now? He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals, however We know what that could. is now. And that's when he started bringing you medicine. Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. Okay. And he still lived in the hut? Dang. That's, that's quite a commute, especially yeah. on foot. <laughs> right? That's what was special Dang. about Sabbath. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Mm. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. This dude Thin sounds like between a boss. Bravery and madness, Seriously? Huh? Wow. Well, I think Sabbat might be cooler than Crane. I'm serious. So, guys, we did the gathering, and again, when I select the quest, we have to talk to Jasia. Now, this is main story stuff. We're getting back into the nitty-gritty. We've learned about the Sabit guy, and there's all these side quests which are cool. Jasia, but this is really cryptic important. Message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, this no, is the first that. thing we did, right? Yes, we all were. He was military, and he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. Okay. That's a military key card. I mean, if it's properly Ooh. authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Oh, well, yes. Then, here, you take it. <laughs> Maybe it'll yes. Help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Oh, thanks, yeah, dude. This is about to be good. I love it when games do this stuff. Like, we've seen how the area of this is. It's very kind of underbuilt, I would say. So by taking the military key card, what we may be able to find eventually then, guys. Well, there you go. These freaking crates. The military key card allows you to open special military supplies. They are scattered around the countryside and contain blueprints, which can be crucial to your survival. Oh, I freaking know. Hey, my guy, look at this military key card. You jealous, huh? Picking the dirt off your shoes. First thing on the agenda is going to be checking out the crashed plane site. That seems to be a key thing that the faceless are very interested in and uh, they mentioned the possibility of maybe a survivor being there. Let's take a look where it is. Ah, so it's quite far away. We do have a safe zone there though, so uh, I guess let's make track. I mean, come on right now. Will you give me a rap? I'm about to do the freaking rap. So anyway guys, we are now making tracks after doing that jump. I mean, excuse me, I just had to. Zombie outbreak, zombies everywhere, but still if I see a ramp, I'm about to jump a ramp and I'm gonna let that boat go. Yeah, run on boy. So the plane crash is just over there. I'm trying to think which is the best route to uh, follow by. I'm thinking that maybe Maybe go this way here, and this merges onto like a uh, road of some kind. So let's check this one out. Don't you dare! Don't you freaking ah! Is this another ramp? I mean, oh my! Woo -hoo! Oh my god! <laughs> so cool, man. So cool. I'm talking about me, not the game, by the way. This whole area here is new territory. It's uh, almost like behind everything else, and we haven't seen this, so I'm taking this nice and slowly. Looks to be mostly open roads, though, so we can just drive around real nice and quick. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit off-road. Let's try and get up this incline. Come on! Come on, keep the revs high. I know I got one of the runners behind me, but it's all right. Uh, we won. Okay, uh, let me take this guy out. Good shot, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Anybody there, oh, 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 oh. no, 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 stay back. Where the freak is this guy? Like, he's asking for help and not giving his location? Is that the, uh, guy in the plane? 
Is that what just happened? So he was there with his two kids? Why would you fly over Haran when this place you know is infected? Second of all, what bad luck for a plane to actually crash? What's she just casually flying over? 189 meters looks like the red plume of smoke here is coming from the plane. So let's check out the wreckage and see exactly what we can find. Oh, oh crap. Gosh, eh? Yeah, that plane went down real hard. So I think, is that an exploder? Yeah, that's just a scarecrow. Couple of zombies, but this should be okay, I think. Hey, is that your plane? What? It's not here. Um, Why would he even be out here? My dude, I'm oh, right here. So. You what? Me? It's I think I do. Well, yes! Uh, can you what? See us? Let me take this guy out. Uh, wait, whereabouts? Like, I never did your quest, I know, but come on, guys. Give me a break right now. More Fortnite players infecting this game. Like, come on right now. The zombies are doing a good enough job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Fortnite too, guys. Okay, a few runners over here. Should take that. I don't understand what the freak that one's doing. Made my life so much easier, though. Ha, ah, the safe house right here. All right, come on. There you go. Dude, this is literally as makeshift as it gets, right? How's it going, guys? What the freak are you doing crashing a plane in See, this place? Olga told you it was Crane. Are you sure? He looks weird. Are you we serious? Are Look at these guys' faces. Crane, we did it. We flew. Uh, no, you but didn't. not with the jetpack. But we found the plane instead. Wow. Almost are you in good condition. Had to make a few adjustments to it. All right. And the gasket broke. All the oil leaked out. The engine seized up. You meant to say the we good things that happened, you know? But Mr. Dahl, <laughs> our boss. Whoosh. He flew all the way to the west. Hmm. You have to find him, Crane. Whoops. You two actually care about someone else. Oh, you wound us, Mr. Crane. <laughs> also, Mr. Dahl is a billionaire. He'll make us rich. And what all use right. does that have right How now? How am I supposed to find him? Simple. Mr. Dahl has a transmitter in his backpack. All right. That's our uh, insurance. You know, in case he tried to screw us over. Can't trust right. anyone, you know. Take that tracking device. The beeping will be faster the closer you are to the transmitter. And Got it. when you get back, we'll tune this tracking device so that you'll be able to find other things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, hold Everything up. That's chipped crane. Okay. And these days, a lot of yes. things are chipped. Yes, and we aren't just they? got the card, right? Military equipment, for example. But yes. Fast? Mr. Dad. All right, these guys may look we stupid, but I think their brains are semi-stupid. Kind of working. We right, believe in guys, you. literally shut the you freak up. There's the device. So that's giving us some tracking information. Looking like we need our car, though, I think. One kilometer the other way. Of course it would be, wouldn't it? Anyway, guys, we are now back at the car. So we need to head straight over then to where I think it was Tolga or the boss guy might be. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. It may introduce us to uh, some of the new landscape, too. If you're going to Yep, by two idiots. Yes, and yes. But the crew were no outsiders, just mm -hmm. a few unlucky people trying to get out of Haran. Did anyone survive? Yeah, they did, actually. They Interestingly yeah. enough. Yeah, two survivors, but no, they're just a pair of suicidal mad scientists. <laughs> Dangerous, Dangerous to themselves, themselves maybe, yeah. Else. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Your mother would like you to keep an eye on them. Okay. All right. I mean, if mother wants me to, and I get that sweet guy real soon, I'm gonna do it. Their robes are pretty sweet, guys. Come on. Okay. I think I'm gonna try and secure this place just whilst I'm passing. I mean, why not? Probably only a few walkers, uh, about five or six, I guess. Well, that was easy. Don't tell me I have to climb this freaking thing in order to get this safe zone. Because if so, I mean, right now, I think I actually have to, guys. Uh, let's make a small start here because it does say I think survivors inside or something. So I guess we can maybe talk to someone here. Turn no! on the power. Yep. <laughs> we gotta go all the way to the freaking top. I knew this was gonna happen. <sighs> well, I mean, I'm pretty good at climbing, and my name is Carl Crane. So uh, I mean, that's all I need to say right now. Here we go, climbing up the side right now, and uh, I guess. Wait, hold up. Okay, so it goes to flat ground. Yeah, guys, I'm really excited to see what happens at the next level with mother and uh, really what the encounter is about to entail they are definitely getting more used to us and i guess trusting us which is the most important thing all of that freaking weird quirks man i'm into knowing a bit more about that because i mean weird quirks are my thing wait what got a blueprint the chill kill all right that sounds nice and cool you know <laughs> for god's sake honestly i just need to play this game and stop making bad puns it's really frustrating what the f Wh wait are you kidding i didn't even do it Bro, if it spawns me anywhere but that place. Woo! And we're back. That only took about five minutes. I guess not too bad. But now this, I think, is a safe house. What? An active safe zone. Because of the lack of electricity, help Bill out with the power to the people quest to make them new usable. So are you telling me I'm wasting my time right now? Give me a good reason why I shouldn't jump right now, okay? No good reason? All right, I'm going to freaking jump and hopefully aim for this bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
top 10 scariest moments in gaming ever. So I guess that's ready, if I can say that, for when we get the power back to the place. So the power to the people quest is what we need to do. But I feel like now we should get back on track and uh, see where this guy is. Another thing, guys, if you notice I'm looking a bit steamy today, it is freaking hot as hell in the UK. Emphasis on the hell part because, you know, like, warm fire. Basically, I am freaking cooking in this room right now. My room converts itself into an oven during the summer. So, uh, yeah, pleasant for me. Not freaking really. This is killing me. So we're finally here, guys. Before anything, I'm going to check around for some fuel. I feel like that's a problem. And uh, hold up. Uh, is it saying he's over here somewhere? We'll check that in a sec. There you go. We've got some fuel. Nice. So what the freak is going on up here? Let me go ahead and grab on this. Apparently, there's something within here. Is it trying to say? There's a... Uh, what? Sorry, I didn't think there was anybody in here. Yeah. I'll bet you freaking... didn't. What? Even little some Dude. bitch. Well, relax. This is the it's place, like right? That. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't going to steal anything. Can we buy stuff from him? I thought this was going to be the guy where, you know, like all the old weaponry is hoarded. Let's talk to this guy. Hold up a sec. Parts you can damn well buy. Evolution, yeah. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. These parts is mine. Is mine, okay. Some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. All right. Yeah, understood. Are you, are you, are you, are you, you know what? We're gonna cash out on a few things, guys. I got a lot of money that I'm not spending at all. I mean, I might just buy the full shop. Why not? So it's a pretty big area. We got to uh, check around. So missing persons. Apparently, there's something there. Um, there's a racing poster. I'm interested in racing right now. All right, guys. I've made my way into a military place. I found one of these. I just want to see what sort of stuff they can yield. So in goes the card. Okay, that's really cool. Use this. Oh, we got to tap F. Give me something good right now before everyone comes over. All right. Was it worth it? I mean, heck yeah. What is that? Like a shotgun? We've got an experiment. Experimental military traction part as well, and uh, a king. Very good weapon upgrade. Let me go ahead and discard something out of my inventory. I probably am not going to use this thing again, so we'll get rid of that. Semi-auto shotgun. Let's go, man. Anyway, this thing's beeping. You hear that? So, hold on, let me check for some fuel. Is that what it is? Yep, there you go. Got some too. He's near this area then. Now, it's a case of knowing how big of an area does the beeping right, cover. must be getting close. Okay, so keep going in this direction here. I'm about to guess he's not on the bridge. Uh, I know I've got some skills I need to spend too. I'm going to actually go over where there was like a, uh, kind of like a nail or a pin within our map. Maybe that's where he is. Wait, it's just gone. So he's within this area here. This is going to be hard to find. Here we go. Is he hiding over here somewhere then in one of the cars? I think right, maybe warm. so. Yep. I'd say warmer right now, to be honest. So we're going to keep running along this track here. Uh, check in there. Don't think I see anyone hiding. Here we go. Oh, he's hiding there. Where are you, doll? I think he's right in here, to be honest. It would make sense, you know? A barbed wire safe haven. Let's check this out. Let's go ahead and open this. Dal, are you in here? I mean, we're here to rescue you, apparently, so come out. Bruh. Yeah, dial it down here. I gotta be careful, guys. It's starting to turn into a little bit of a sunset slash evening situation here. So we gotta find Dal quick before it's honestly too late for the night. Now we've gonna wait. Bro, this is hard. I have no idea where he could be. Like, in the train carts then, I guess? Whoa. Okay, we're nice and hot right now. First of all, let me take a racing trophy, because why not? I'm gonna check all of these, then. Maybe he's hiding out here. So warm right now. Come on. Hmm, dissipate. So it's in this direction here. Let me check on the map. I think it's within this sort of circle here that I'm forming. Here we go. Now it's getting nice and hot. And the weather is getting nice and dark. I mean, goodness me, not a good combo. Here. Where is he? Come on right now. Warmer. Gosh. Where are you dull? I, this is like... Oh, hold up. Um, Is this it? He's back. Guys, I found Dahl's transmitter. Crap. Hey, Tolga. Told you he was going to Whoops. find him. Uh, guys. Wait, Crane. Is Mr. Dahl all right? About that. It's hard to say. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, boy. You lose, wow, are you kidding me? Wow, I don't this know is know these guys. Dead, <laughs> I just found his backpack. No sign of the man himself. Any <laughs> ideas? We're geniuses. Dang. Of course we have ideas. We are prepared. Let's hear it. Not that we didn't trust the man, but he has another transmitter in one of his one shoes? shoes. All right. Oh, Send this is like... Send device to your second channel and move okay. on with your investigation. All right, I get it. Crane, what the heck are you doing? Mr. Dahl, I sure hope you're well equipped to survive a night because uh, me, yeah, I ain't doing this. Wait, I'm getting warmer as I go into the safe zone. Did he already make it here? It's literally right here. Uh, is he good? Why, when I talk to Polar, is this thing going wild? No, you're not Vulcan Dahl. A freak. Was I supposed to be? Where did you get those boots? Hey, he didn't need them anymore. Where Way is he? Off. Did you kill him? Where is he? Hey, he turned. I killed a monster, not a human. Oh, crap. Shot. Where? Wow. Shot him straight through the head. Dang. No, you idiot. Where is his body? Oh, not far from here. Dang. Listen, I can pay you for these boots if they're so important to you. No problem. Not about the money. Just forget it. Crap. 
Wow. I guess we kind of completed that, but I should probably Guys, sleep the night away, right? After off. this. Starting to beep right now. Yep. Dean, Tolga, you there? Are you kidding me? Are they just, go? God damn it. They just straight up flatlined. Man. Oh, crap. Scream louder, Fatin. Maybe they'll figure out where. Gosh, these guys, man. The great train robbery is hard. Go away! Uh, yeah. Next date. So, I mean, these two freaking dudes, they can handle it themselves, all right? Not interested at this moment in time anyway. So, something fairly early on. And uh, secondly, we got one of those freaking demolishers. And I think you saw me. Yeah, he saw me, didn't he? Yeah, he's busting down that fence trying to bust me open. Look, my dude, don't throw a rock at me. Oh, God, be ready. Be ready. Uh, oh, I'm making mad dashes. I am not staying around to receive another rock to the face, all right? So I think of all quests that I want to try and finish off this episode with, I want to try and find Sabit right now. He seems like a very interesting person, so I'm going to make my way over to where he is, and we'll go from there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, yeah. Of all things to happen... Only I can manage to do that, right? Are you kidding? Whoa, what the freak? Whoa, whoa, whoa. there is so many here. Uh, I gotta hop out. Uh, let me try and take... Bro, okay, this is bad. This is real bad. We're here anyway, guys. Unfortunately, yes, you can reset the position of the vehicle, but seriously getting wedged between that tree? Are you kidding? All right, guys, so here looks like a uh, fairly consistent climbing route right here. Should allow us to get to the top. Yep. We're gonna do this. So what the heck is going on then, Sabit, huh? You still around here? Or did something slip up out of your control? That must be the cabin he stayed in. I mean, I guess it's got the vantage point, and it's fairly difficult to climb up here. Whoa, whoa, all right, uh, Sabit! Oh, that's a bit- Dude, it's like beating me down whilst I'm on the floor. Holy crap, why is this one so- That's definitely Sabit, right? Listen how angry he is. Maybe? I don't know. That zombie was doing so much more damage, though, compared to any of the other ones I've ever faced. That's kind of interesting. Why? All right, let's go ahead. What the? Okay, so we're inside. Whoa. Freak, like an underground escape route? Uh, Sabit, what the freak is going on here? I mean, he's not around, so my stuff now, you know? What are you storing in here? You got one of those picks? I'll take the pouch. I mean, it's probably got that good jewelry in. So let's go ahead and descend. Um, was this? It just here. There's a Hold goddamn up. volatile hive under this hut. Half of Sabit's stuff ended up down in a cave. Crap. I'll check it for those herbs Bro. you wanted, but I doubt he's still alive. Are you kidding me right now? If it's a volatile nest right now... Don't you dare go in there yourself. Uh-huh. Those hives are searching death. Yep. Wait, I think I heard something. Oh, yeah. You heard something, all right? What? Wait, 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 wait. What the freak? Um, I'm gonna do that? There's talking. What the heck? I'm so confused right now. What? Okay, let's go ahead and slide down here. This feels real bad. Guys. Oh my god, look at this cave. This one's insane compared to the last one. So, I mean, I'm gonna go real slow. Look for the source of the strange sound. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. You feel the ambience though? I mean, there's that down there. Do we need steam? What? Dude, why are they talking? This is so confusing. Holy f Yeah! Dude, what the heck? Have mercy and kill- Are you kidding me right now? Bro, what the freak? What if it sees me? Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Dude. Oh my gosh. That's absolutely yeah. insane. No need to tell Jazeera about this. Um... Yeah. Why was that thing talking right there? I'm so confused. What's under here, though? Like, if we dive down, there's, like, some kind of, uh, underwater thing? Is it just, like, a small... Oh, you can actually swim. So, maybe if there's a lot of volatiles, this is, like, a safety place. Bro, I am mind blown why that thing was talking. What the... F that is so weird. What? Okay, perhaps this is the only way out of this place. Um, that's what I'm starting to think, because we can't grab the rope and slowly climb back up. So I guess let's just see what happens here, man. A volatile talking, though. We still don't truly know exactly what those formations are. You know, there just seem to be, I guess, some form of life. But why they exist in that form, that kind of broken down, busted up form, I don't really know. Do they serve to birth new volatiles or something? Like, I don't know. Hopefully we learn. That makes me real excited now. Unfortunately, my theory was right too, guys. It did lead to a nice opening back to sunlight. Did he fall into a volatile nest then? Is that what caused everything to happen from there on out? Anyway though, guys, we're back to plan eight. So we got some electronics here. We're looking for the herbs. I mean, there's a shepton here, but I can't pick them up or anything. Sibir, what the freak were you eating anyway? Are you kidding? 
Okay, there we go. Yellow root. So bring the herbs to Jasia. I am like, I'm so struck right now. I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of hoping then we learn more from this point on about what the volatiles are. Maybe since we spoke to Mother, you know, then we have the ability, since she gave us that incense type thing, to hear what they're saying or hear their cries. This is my thinking right now. I don't want to get too involved in this because we truly don't understand. But if there's going to be more communication with the volatiles as like an actual being and something we can hear, who knows what they're going to say next? But it's clear they're not happy being in the state they are. If you guys can't already tell, my mind is racing with so many different thoughts. Um, I, I just, I don't know where to take them. So I'm going to leave them to, uh, I guess, sit. Maybe we'll tell Jesse or at least someone about this. So about the these herbs, Jasia. Let's hear why they're so this important. This is what you needed, right? It is. This will help a lot. Thank goodness. I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. Don't worry. At least we know what happened to him. You know you don't. And it's no shame to die that way. Sure thing. Yes, we got that upgrade too. Let's freaking go. New level of trust earned. So wait, there's like an arrow over here. Uh, what do we do now? All right, guys. Well, I tried sleeping until the night time. Um, I thought there'd be something more here. You see, there's like a circle around Jasia. And the faces, they haven't showed up. So, I mean, I got the rank. But it seems like maybe now we're more grinding just towards progressing as a whole. Wait, it gives me the component to make the upgraded crossbow. Use this to transform your regular crossbow into a crossbow 2.0. Okay, I see that. So we made some good progress. Got one more rank as well well with mother and uh, i guess in the next episode we're gonna try to finish up with the ranking system but i don't think so guys it's gonna be a big grind who would have thought that the volatiles can talk though you know and uh, like whether or not mother gave us that ability by waving the uh, incense or whatever it was in our face and then it's kind of like hallucinating out of it i mean we don't know what happened in between that time or what the fumes even did it did seem to make us immune though so who knows what other effects it may be having we'll find out in the next episode though guys but thank you for watching this episode of dying light and i hope you did enjoy if you did why not drop that like rain and hey if you're new around here why not also subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one